Hello, welcome to the Nexus. Today we're going to be building the first assembly for our Enterprise build. These are the parts that we're going to be using. Uh, we're going to have a look in some of the booklets as well. Uh, so let's get going. that we're going to be using and needing so we're going to be fitting all of this section here uh, this is the magazine so let's just go through uh, the magazine very quickly uh, we're doing this part I'll be doing a separate video for stage two so this is issue one stage one uh, and these are the bits that we're going to be doing this is what we're doing another one uh, a quick look through the built uh, the booklet I won't do this probably for everyone but uh, let's, let's have a look anyway. So we've got designing the D. So obviously designing the Enterprise there. And then we've got building the bridges. Uh, building bridges, I should say. So this is how they designed the Enterprise D build, bridge and what it originally was going to look like. Just there. And what we got in the end. And where it was originally going to be placed. Uh, then we've got the lost generation. So this goes through uh, what the next generation was going to look like before it became what we know it is today. And stuff like that. Uh, one thing I, haven't no I have noticed, like on previous magazines, is that it doesn't tell you what's coming in the following issues. This is the back page. Um, on the Ghostbuster one and stuff like that, it tells you what you're going to get in the next stages. Uh, but I'm wondering whether just because this is issue one, it doesn't. But anyway, there's the magazine, um, just there. Uh, let's take a look at um, the sort of um, introduc introducing, look, get it out again, introducing your model. Uh, so here we go. So as you can see, uh, go online for more information. It has light up in the cells. It's got die cast uh, pieces, pre-painted, uh, internal light system, over two foot long. It's going to have a display mount as well. Uh, once again, I will say, if you've not catched my first video, and that is uh, it won't have any sound effects. Uh, this goes on about the studio model. So there was a, a six foot, a four foot, and a two foot model. Um, and there's the, there's the four foot here, uh, which has more of the art um, sort of detailing on it. So it's, it's more textured. Uh, and there's them working on the uh, six foot model there. Uh, what you come into the build guide, uh, what it's going to look like as well. I mean, it looks mighty impressive lit up. I cannot wait. And some really nice pictures of the top, the back here. Remember, these are all the prototypes. So all these uh, pictures of the model here are the prototype versions uh, just there. Uh, it's worth noting that this is my um, delivery um, thing, um, sort of delivery note, shall I say, and it tells you what you get in it. Now, a lot of people were saying they didn't get the screw box. The screw box comes in box two, issues uh, three, four, five, and six. If you subscribed for uh, the, the payment plan for three months, uh, six months and 12 months then you will get the first six before anybody else and you'll also get the screw box as well uh, but this is what you should get you should get this the binder uh, the two issues and this pack which has the the poster in it and and this as well 
But anyway, let's start building. These are all the parts, and what we need is our. I'm going to take them just as they are, like this, out of uh, the box. So first, I'm going to take the screwdriver. I'm going to be using the screwdriver with the build. Let's take out the bridge or uh, deck one, as this is. So that's the bridge there. So the oval section is the top of the bridge, uh, which you see in some of the episodes. Uh, and then we need this section just here. And we're going to place this on top. It does have a guide pin just at the top here. I'm going to push that in there. And we're going to secure that in place here with two AP screws. So I need to get some AP screws out of here. Like so. And I need two. One. Two. So what I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and screw those two bits in place. Just before I carry on, I'm going to put down a cloth to stop any scratches or any little nicks to uh, the paintwork, the finished paintwork on the top here. So I've got myself a little microfiber cloth just here. We're going to uh, place that down. I'm just going to screw this in. Not too tight, just enough so it's catching. Like so. There. So don't over tighten these. Uh, I've been doing these for a long time and can tell you that not to over tighten them. It's normally quite the best policy. So just uh, screw down. Tell there's a little bit of tension. And that is the first bit. Now, I don't know if you can make that out. That does have the, Ar the Aztec design on that. So if I pull it in a certain way, so there you can't see it, but if you, you can faintly see it, which you should be able to against the light, that is perfect. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our lights. And we need, uh, I'm trying to figure out which ones we need now. So we have B, C and A, just there. Just gonna pull them out, so they're all like that. So we need we need uh, letter C. So we've got A and B there. They can go back. So we need C. This is C just here, and we need the yellow and white wire just there. And there is a little. Uh, a little groove just in there as you can see and the wire will sit just in there and the so we need to uh, sort of bend it slightly and then the other one will sit on the other side but what will help is we need our tray over again so what we need is this section here and this section here put this back so I think the best way to do this is uh, this is going in this way. So silver side up. And we need to just place this just like so. I might need to pull it back slightly just so it fits nice and snug in there. Like so. There we go. So it does just fit in there, but it, it need to uh, make it a little bit snug. Then what we're going to do is the exact same for this side. So this side will go in just like that. The wires are going to come out the side just slight the side slightly, and we need to get this here just into the groove section, and then try and fit this in place. And I've done that, and that's how it sits, just like so. So both sections are in, and this is downwards. So now what we need is we need to secure this in place. So we need our little tray again, and we need this big section here, which once again has the uh, the Aztec design on it. As you can see, I don't know if you, that's picking up on the light. 
can just about make that out. And once again, we're going to use some AP screws. So we need to get them ready. So just two of them. Like so. Put them back in there. And what we need to do now, we need to pass this through, the wire through, like so. We need to secure this in place, like that. And stick an AP screw in either of those holes there. Lay it down on our surface, like so. Nice and magnetic. There we go. actually hold it a little bit here to give us a bit of a friction point so once again once it starts getting a little bit tight stop because you don't want to thread it or break the screw you don't want to over tighten or bash it like I just did <laughs> so in here like so And there we have the bridge section, deck one. All nicely and done. It's, it's really nice and secure there, actually. I'm quite surprised. So next we need deck two, this section here of deck two. Just gonna take that out. Now, this is all die cast, as you can hear. Nice, big, solid bit of die cast. Um, this top section here, deck one, is plastic. I don't actually think it's die cast at all. But first thing we've got to do is we've got to turn this over. And then we need our clips just here. So we need the right and left clips, which are here. As well as these sections just here, which are the vents. So we need these sections. So this section just here, uh, will go in uh, this side. So I believe, is that the left side? Yep, yeah, the left side. So this has got an L on it for left and the other one's got right, for obviously right. And uh, they're going to go in, just like so. Just about getting them in right. Clicking them in. Into place. Now they do go in, but they are a very tight fit, which is good, because we want that. Okay, so the reason I was having trouble getting them in is because um, it's, it's left to right that way not left to right underneath. So the left side would go in this side, right when it's underneath and left on top. So it should be like this, left. And obviously this one's the right side and they go in like that. So what we need now is the wire labeled B, which is here. And we're just gonna pull this slightly apart like so and we need the yellow and black side and that is just going to sit just on there so there's a little um, sort of square just here and the light will literally just sit on there like so it's got a little guide bit sort of sitting there as well just like that remember this is the left side so this goes on just like that, and the light should get uh, like that. That's it, lovely. Uh, now it's asking us to put a CM screw in there. So let me grab, uh, we've got CP, CM screw. So we need one of the CM screws. Just open this. Like 
like so. We need the CM screw just in the top section just here. Once again, once there's a little bit of tension there is there, is to just stop. Now on the right side, we're not fitting the light. We are just fitting this unit. So we just need another CP screw, or CM, sorry. Make sure you get the right screws. Okay, so CM screw. It's there, and this one goes in this side. Like so. So that should look like this at the end of that, and that shouldn't have fallen out. So maybe it needs to be uh, a little bit tighter. It's as tight as it's going to go, I think. But anyway, that's sort of secured in there. Just uh, be a bit mindful of that. Mine just popped out of there. So that's that section done. The next what we need is we need this section just here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to place our light section just here. So this will go all the way up like that. And it'll sit just flush in there. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to place this over the top, but with our wire. So once again, we need the uh, A wire this time. So we're going to split them slightly. And we're going to do it this way. So when we're going to place this over, we're going to put these wires in here. So we're going to put the green and yellow wire in this side, like so. And the red and black wire in this side. Just by lifting it slightly, you can get it just under it. Like so. Like that. And we're going to secure this in place with CM screws. So the CM screws seem to be going into the die cast. Uh, we've come across the CM screws before on builds. And we need four of these. So I'm going to secure it. From this side first. I'm going to go over the other side. Do it on that one. Like so. And then like that. Another CM screw. Just like that. There we go. And so that should look like that at the end of this. Okay, so the next section is we're going to turn this up like this. And we've got a few bits here. So we're going to take our sensor just here so this is the sensor ring around the bridge so we're just going to place that just in place like that we're going to take our bridge module and we're going to place that through the top make sure you're not catching the wire there we go click in place so what we're going to do now is we're going to put AP screws in these top ones, in these outer sections, just here. And then we're going to stick CP screws into the inner ones, just there. So let's do that now. And there we go. So as you can see, it's all secured in place now. There is quite a lot of wires just on this top section here. Uh, this is obviously going to be the shuttle bay just here. But uh, yeah, very solid. So we only got now, if you've been keeping track and you've been following along, you will notice that the only piece left now are our escape hatches or escape pod hatches, which are just here. And now these need to go in. So I'm just going to twist. Just like that. 
and we're going to start putting these in. So it says right side and remember the right side is this side here and they only go in one way. So some people will cut these with a spurs cutter which you can do but um, they're designed just to be sort of yanked out really. So this one says left. This one will go just in there like that. Next we've got another left one. Let's just go just guide it into the hole. So there is like a little uh, they, they sort of slide down. Oh, uh, maybe it's this one. Is it this one? No, it's not this one. Is it? Ah, oh, yes, it is. Okay, so I've been going along. So that's that's this one. There we go. Like that. And once again, you just literally pull them off. Make sure it says well, this one's right. So this one goes in here. Like that. And this one here. Into that. And look at that. Nice and done. Just there. And that oh, it's come out again. My wire has come out again. So that is going to be uh, a little bit of a fiddly thing, that because it's not securing it down. I don't want to lose it. But that does go in here. Out. The others seem completely secure, but uh, that one's not as secure, and I've tightened that as much as I can. Uh, a little bit tighter. I don't want to over tighten it. But anyway, there we go. So that is what we are left with after the first assembly stage. This is stage one of issue one. And I'm really happy that is lovely metal. You've got the Aztec design on there as well as you can pick that up like that. You can just about see it, which is really nice. Uh, so anyway, that's it from us here at the Nexus. Make sure you click to subscribe and join us for the next stage. And we'll see you then.